If your enclosure includes a hood or a stand, assemble those sections completely before building the cage. The hood and stand are going to be easier to build and the experience of building them will make assembly of the cage a lot more simple. To build one section of the enclosure completely, you should refer to this and the next two videos in the series. Finish the section you are working on and then start over with the next section of the enclosure. The basic construction of the frame skeleton for any section of an enclosure, the cage, stand and hood, is the same. The differences are in the size and type of panels that will slide into that skeleton. The best way to build any section is to build it lying on its back, starting with the frame and panels that will make up the back of the section. You will need the four 33C aluminum frame members, two vertical and two horizontal that are designated for the back of the section four corner joints, eight draw wedges, eight button head socket screws, the panel or panels that will slide into the back frame. If there is more than one panel, you will need the 33S panel support piece and the hex allen wrench. Arrange all the parts on the floor oriented in the positions that they will be in when the back side section is finished. Remember that this section is lying on its back, but two of the 33C aluminum frame members are going to be vertical in the finished unit and two are going to be horizontal. Make sure that the corner joints are oriented correctly so that the vertical corners attach to the vertical frame members and the horizontal corners attach to the horizontal frame members. The vertical corner of the joint is the single corner with the hole through which the socket screw must pass before the draw wedge can be threaded onto the screw. The horizontal corners have channels that the socket screw with the pre-threaded draw wedge can be snapped into. Using the methods described in video H3002 Corner Joint Assembly, build three sides of the frame using one vertical frame member and the two horizontal frame members. Tighten the draw wedges until they are snug and will not pull out from the frame, but do not completely tighten them. You will want some movement in the joints for the time being and you will tighten the screws again later. Remember that the segment you are building is the back of the section you are working on and that it is lying on its back. The inside of the segment is facing up. For a hood or stand, the panel going into the frame is most likely melamine and it is most likely the same on both sides. Slide the panel into the channels of the horizontal 33C aluminum frame members until the panel is fully seated into the vertical frame member. It may be easier to install larger panels if the frame is in a vertical position, leaning up against a wall or held steady by a helper. For the cage section, the back panel may have an outside and inside. This is definitely the case if you have a seam printed on the panel. Make sure that the seam going into the frame is oriented so that the picture is facing the inside of the cage. If there are more than one panel going into the frame, Install the 33S panel support on the first panel in the frame before installing the second panel. Make sure that the scenery pictures on separate panels are oriented correctly before completing the backside assembly. If there are holes in the panels going into the frames, make sure that they are in the positions that you want them to be before finishing the frame. The easiest way to finish the frame is to first install the remaining two corner joints on the remaining vertical frame member. The vertical corners of each joint will be installed into this piece of frame.
Then attach draw wedges onto two socket screws and snap those screws into the correct horizontal corners of the joints. Slip both draw wedges into the open ends of the horizontal frames at the same time. Now you can tighten all the socket screws completely until there is no wiggle between the corner joints and the frame members. Do not install the corner caps on the corner joints at this time, you will do that last. Set the completed backside section aside, next you will build the front of the unit. 